Okay. Hi, Dominique. How are you? Hello there. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, yes. I just want to say congratulations on the movie. All the success with an Oscar nominations. I'm yeah. sure you've heard about Angela, our <laughs> beloved Queen Ramonda, got nominated for yes. Best Supporting Actress. Amen. Absolutely. Yes, and I see the silhouette shirt. We love the love. <laughs> yes. I had the rep. Had the, had the rep. Absolutely. Uh, can you share the biggest thing you learned from her during the experience? Man, the biggest thing I learned from Queen Ramonda herself, Miss Angela Bassey. To take your time. <laughs> um, my very first day on set was with the scene that she and I have in the in the throne room with Riri entering the throne room for the first first time. What a what a day one. And I right. think I was immediately sort of, of course, there's so many things that were going through my head. Um just about not only about the film and Marvel and all these things, but about the scale of the set, the scale of the movie, the blue screens, all these things. And the moment that they said action and we started the scene, it was just like such an immediate zap back to life, back to the present moment where she was so connected and so dropped in and so in it. She was now Queen Ramonda that it was just like, the deepest breath of fresh air for me to just be with someone who is like, yes, and now let's do what we have been brought here to do. Like, yes, everyone has been running around doing their jobs. Now it's time for us to do ours. Like, let's drop in and let's go. And of course, she didn't say anything extra, nothing more than what was written on the page. But with that, I feel like I got everything that I needed to know because of how focused and locked in that she was. And those are my favorite type of actors, you know? <laughs> yeah. That was, that was definitely the lesson for me was stay focused on the craft. Right, right, right. Just breathing the same air. is like, okay, I got to focus down. I got to be here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's yeah. go, right. Yes. Um, in the same vein, like that Oscar recognition and people running back and forth, shouts out to Miss Ruth Carter and the costume department and makeup. They got nominated for Oscar as well. Peace. Uh you told Rolling Stone that the Iron Heart armor is like 50 pounds. Like, is that true? I was told. So I asked several times throughout this journey, how much is this exactly? And nobody wanted to tell me. <laughs> they, I think they intentionally did not, but nobody told me how much this suit weighed until we were like a few weeks, maybe like a month or so into shooting Iron Heart, the TV series. When the legacy folks, that suit is built by Legacy Studios. Those are the same folks that build the Iron Man suit. They build a bunch of the Star Wars pieces. Like they are literal geniuses. Um, and the same folks who had built this, the Mark I suit were brought over to Ironheart to build the practical version of those suits as well. And I finally got the information out of them. And shout out to Toy. He said that he knew I, I would ask him again. So he weighed everything except for that. If you, those who've seen the movie would know that that laptop, the tough book that Riri gets from her garage, he weighed all the pieces except for the tough book. And it was 52 and a half pounds. <laughs> Man, it's always yeah. leg day. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leg day, arm day, everything. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we got you here for uh, like the children's effort down in Atlanta. Like it's a wonderful thing. Children's Healthcare Atlanta, shout out to them and Puffs. Yes. So yes. each kid gets a child Puffs plush lotion tissue box and a comic book cover with Ironheart. And Ironheart's a huge deal for young readers all across the world. Like, what does it mean to uh, connect with the kids on that level and see their reaction to you walking in there? It was such a beautiful experience. <laughs> it's really just like a, 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 almost like a necessary connect moment. Of, I think of connection for not just like, yes, like representation, and yes, being able to talk about this like incredible moment that Marvel is having, shifting you know the faces that are really leading the charge in the movies and and all of the things that we mentioned, like Oscar buzz, all of these things are so spectacular and incredible. And they're markers for such great success. 
Um, but at the same time, I think something that's equally is necessary to like shed light on or to focus on is the real focus of these stories, like the true target audience of these stories. And that to me has always been the children. I have two younger brothers, the youngest of which is seven. And he was a big convicting factor for me even accepting this role because of like the joy and the excitement that I saw from him. And so to think then about how a young black girl might feel seeing a superhero like that. And then to think about all the other young kids who maybe they don't know, but they kind of have a suspicion that they are into mechanics or cars or science or math or whatever it is. And to get to play a character that represents those things, it was just additional like validation, I guess, or confirmation that this is and could be a good thing. And so when I was contacted by Puffs, who's obviously, at least to me and my family, has been sort of like a staple of comfort <laughs> in times of sickness <laughs> and distress. <laughs> I kid you not, my mom was also here today and she herself was reminiscing about how Puffs was really the only tissue that we used because as Puffs say themselves, no one is safe from like a sore runny nose. And so to be in a, in a space where all of these kids are, they're not only children who are excited and, and, and for, you know, the superhero dumb and all of that, but they're also in real life battling with very real things and struggling in a way that maybe they don't even have that they probably don't even have the words for. And so I think it was just a, a, it was like the, the other side of how this can also, this can continue to be a good thing and can continue to have a little bit more of a real world impact, I think. Um, so I think, you know, however I can, if there is a chance that somebody will see that girl who plays Ironheart and feel like, They'll get that gust of yeah like I can be super I can be strong like absolutely let's do it and I think that puffs and everything that they they stand for the reason why they've been able to maintain like that the consistency that we now associate with their brand about the soft touch and the comfort the reason why that has stood strong all this time I believe is because they genuinely believe that and put that mission forward and you felt that and you saw that today in the room with all of these children <laughs> so it was an incredible time for sure oh that's so awesome that's yeah, so great that good. I, I, now i'm comicbook.com i'm phase zero so you know i gotta yes. ask you about iron heart i gotta ask you nothing crazy <laughs> i don't want i don't want yeah. kevin to come flying into right. that door you know he he could be out there anywhere who are you most excited for fans to see when you guys get rolling Disney Plus this summer? It could be, it could be Ramos. It could be Alden. It could be you. Who knows? I mean, I'm not done mm -hmm. with Ironheart. I'd like some more. So <laughs> who, who you got? <laughs> who am I most excited for? Honestly. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's the, the whole, the, the, like the whole core ensemble. It's really, look at me trying to answer without giving away the storyline, but <laughs> I definitely think the core cast is such, for the same reasons that we actually just sort of touched on with why I think, of course, I'm excited for folks to see more of Ironheart and to see these other layers that they didn't get to, they didn't get to, to see or, or, or capture in Wakanda forever. But in that same vein, there's so much more color and experience and love being expressed in this movie, <laughs> like truly across the spectrum in a way that's real and authentic. And I think that could be, again, a very good thing. And it could be incredibly refreshing for so many people. So I'm really excited for them to see, for them to see the folks that are leading this show with the stem brigade that loves these characters like riri was a huge huge focus for stem kids all across the world uh she's teamed with shuri who mm -hmm. the youngsters also really love there's yes. some really amazing comics with the two of them together 
any chance we see Letitia uh, come on through and accept your invitation at the end mm. of Wakanda Forever? No, man. You know, that's something that you're just going to have to tune in for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're doing such good work down there. That's really, thank really you. special for them kids and for you guys. I can't wait to talk to you later this year for Ironheart. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you.